you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Johnetta, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time tuning in, or even if you're returning, go ahead and hit the subscription button, turn on that post notification bell, and follow me on Instagram, you guys. My Instagram is always somewhere here on the screen and down below in the description. So make sure you always check out my description because everything you need to know is definitely down there. Plus, my other social medias are down there as well. So make sure you go ahead and follow me across the board. Now that I said all of that, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. By the title of the thumbnail and all extra good stuff, you guys already know what we're doing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you're familiar with my channel, then you know I created a series called Online Shopping with John Netta, where I shop various stores for plus size fashion. It's similar to window shopping. If I see something that I like, I'll get it. And if I don't, it is what it is. Now the last shot with me I did on my channel was at Torrent. And I must admit, I fumbled the bag a little bit when it came down to the sales. So I thought the next best thing was to wait to Black Friday. Now I'm not sure if it was me or what, but the deals really wasn't dealing this year. I feel like a lot of stores were just trying to get rid of their unwanted inventory. And... Even then, the sales that they were having wasn't really sales to begin with. At that point, really, my holiday shopping was a little stunned because I planned to do everything that Friday. But I knew if I waited till Monday, then I would have a better deal. And even then, I wasn't really up to shopping, but I did get a few things. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, you guys, first thing first is this cat suit. Now, on Tori, they have a similar cat suit to this. Instead of four being spaghetti strap, it was short sleeve. Now, I wish I got that one instead because I feel like it would have served a better purpose for me. I don't want to just be limited to wearing sweaters and jackets with my one piece. So, I would honestly suggest you get that one if you don't really want to be confined to a jacket all the time. Now, the original price point to this jumpsuit was $50. I got it for a little less than $20 due to the sale. I did purchase a size 5-6. Now I was a bit confused when it came down to the size because, because as I was reading the comments some people were saying that they sized up, some people said they sized down and I really didn't know what direction to go with. I'm glad that I did end up getting a size 5 because it fit perfectly overall versus it just fitting in one spot. This jumpsuit is a cotton fabric blend. If you're familiar with Tory Leggings, then it feels just like that. It's nothing really special to this jumpsuit. It's just a plain one piece. Like I said, it's nothing special about it. I definitely wouldn't have bought it at $50, but because of the discount, I'm glad I got it. Now that I have this in my wardrobe, I really do feel content. <laughs> okay, you guys, here is the next item. This is the multi-chain belt. I did purchase this belt in a size 5-6. The original price point for this belt was about $30 and I got it for a little less than $12. Now that I have this belt in my hand, I would really say this is not exactly what I wanted, but I still have pieces that will pair great with it. Now, I will have to admit to you guys that I have a bit of a toxic trait when it comes to pieces like this. I really do think I can make it look better if I just made it myself. Now, I've been telling myself this for years that I would just make me a chain belt instead of for going out to find them. For a very long time, I couldn't really find them in my size. Now, in my video, I talked about a gold and a silver chain belt. Now, I had an opportunity to see the, the gold one in person. And honestly, I didn't really like it as much. And I didn't feel like it reflected the price. Like I said earlier, I have a lot of pieces that this will match well with. And I can't wait to really add it into my wardrobe and try it out. Okay, you guys, we are now getting down to the heavy hitters of my order. Now, this is a three-in-one Parker coat. When I tell you guys, I've been waiting on this coat for a really long time. This coat has some weight to it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hang it up. <laughs> this is a three-in-one Parker coat. It was priced at around $240. I got the price down to $95, and I think that was a great steal for this coat. Now, it says that this coat is wind and water resistant, it's lined with fleece, and the trim to this coat is removable. Now, I can really say, you guys, this is a good coat. When I tried it on, it was super soft and cozy. I feel like it will protect you from the wind. Online, they have more specs about like the temperature and what coats are right for what type of weather. But for me personally, I think this coat would match really well. Now, funny thing is, I get a coat every year pretty much for the winter, 
and I don't have any black jackets. So I definitely had to get this coat. Now I have nothing else to say about this coat, but it was needed, okay? This coat was definitely needed. I definitely needed an everyday black jacket, especially when the wind temps get up. I think this jacket will be perfect. Now, if you're anything like me and you hate being hot all the time, the best thing about this jacket is that you can break it down. I'm not gonna break it down here for you guys on camera, but you can take the outer shell off and just wear it as that. And then on the inside, it has a bomber puffer, puffer jacket that you also can wear separately. So I really do think this is an all-around all coat. And so far, I love it. I can't wait to get into it. I honestly think I have a coat like this in a different color, but that's a story for another day. Last but not least, you guys, this was the whole reason I even ordered something from Tour in the first place. These boots speak for themselves. I have nothing to say other than these boots are simply gorgeous. Now to give you guys some specs about these boots, this is the, the stretchy patent booty from Tour with the block heel. Now I did see they had multiple boots like this and the only difference was the actual heel. This is the block heel. This block heel is 3.5 inches high. Now if you're not a heel wearer like myself, I feel as though you're going to be tiptoeing in these boots until you get the right foot in. Like I I'm not really a heel wearer, but when I do wear heels, it takes me a little bit to adjust to them. And that's the only thing I can see with these boots. Another thing is when it comes down to the leg and the calf, if you don't have like a big calf, these boots look weird. Like, I don't know. I, I really can't describe it. Once I try them on, you guys see how they look. You will see what I'm talking about. Every time I saw these boots, it fits perfectly on the person's calf. It just don't fit well on my calf. Um, to me, the top look like galoshes, but other than that, I really do like these boots. I cannot wait to style them. I originally thought this would look really cute with that bodysuit, so I can't wait to try to pair that with something. I cannot wait to wear them. These boots definitely retailed around $80. I got these boots down to about $32, and I think that was a steal for these boots because this is the whole purpose why I ordered something in the first place, you guys. Okay, you guys, as I was doing the try on portion of my video, I do want to tell you guys the reason why I'm not going to be trying these boots on today. Now, when I opened the box, the boots were scratched up, and you can definitely tell that they were worn. So, what I'm going to do is call back to see if I can get another pair or if something can be done about them. Um, like I said, they were scuffed up, and the bottom of the shoe definitely looked like somebody wore them and returned them. Normally I wouldn't have a problem with that, but I just feel like with this whole tour experience, I am really over it. Now on to the cons, you guys. I don't have anything negative to say about the items that I shared with you all today. Like I really am happy with my purchase. However, I'm not happy about my tour shopping experience. This experience reminds me of some of the reasons why I slacked up at shopping at Tour for a very long time. I normally have issues online placing my order, so I just call and place my order over the phone like I always do. With it being the holiday season, I try to be extra nice and respectful to everyone, especially call center representatives, because I know it's a stressful job and sometimes it can be a real hectic thing. So I try my best to be nice. Now I don't appreciate the rudeness and the disrespect that I was met with, now I've been trying to call and connect with Tori over the last five or six days to resolve an issue that was happening on their end. And it seemed like everyone I spoke with was snappy and rude and it just seemed like no one really wanted to help. Of course, I did end up speaking to some great representatives along the way. But as you guys know, the negative always outweighs. Now, Torrid has been a staple in the plus size community for years, in my opinion. And I feel like they have the opportunity to remain in that spot if they just work on their customer service. I refuse to spend my money at a company who don't have great customer service because at the end, we all spend our hard earned money and we want to be met with respect and I just did not get that from Tori. I don't care how good your products are, how unbeatable your prices are. I just feel like it's a slap in the face when companies have rude customer service and are unwilling to do their job. Now, when I say all that, I really do mean that. Now, I'm not here to be negative about Tori. But I do feel like over the past, I would say two years, I feel like when it came down to customer service, at least on my end, I only can speak for myself, they really do not care. They say they value you as a customer, but at the end, it's not that. At least that's how I feel. Now, I'm just going to leave this here for you all and leave this all behind me. Hopefully, you guys don't have any negative experience with Torrid, but this is just my 
troops, okay? So I'm just gonna leave this here. If you guys like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Drop down in the comments and let me know if you liked any of the pieces that I've shown. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming content. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.